Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly singles tarot reading for May um, 2022. And this month I decided to change the uh, reading because why not, okay? Yes, we've got um, three cards spread, the beginning, the middle and the end of the month. And we've got one uh, oracle deck here for the main energy or something you, you know, you know you need to look forward to or something will be of importance to you and we've got our tarot deck here and i've pre-shuffled all the decks thoroughly and so um we are going to start okay please tell us oracle and universe what's going to be the main focus main energy for virgo who are singles in may okay so the card it says let let love be your beacon okay so virgo there you go let love be your beacon right right these cards are very slippery on every level okay so tarot and universe please tell us what is coming for virgo sun moon rising and venus signs who are singles for the month of May. Okay. Beginning of the month. The middle of the month. Towards the end of the month. The bottom of the deck is the sun. Okay. A bit clumsy. But you're getting there. Okay, the beginning of the month, you've got the chariot in the middle, you've got the queen of cups, towards the end of the month, you've got the king of pentacles. So, Virgo, I don't need to say too much, okay? This is love and balance. You've got four and two here, making a six, so definitely um love is coming your way and you need to enjoy love that is coming your way okay um that's all i can say that i don't want to go ahead and say too much but everything is there for you and in the beginning of the month you've got um the chariot so this chariot is telling me that there's a possibility that you are traveling or it could also be that you are making arrangements to move okay and um whether you live with the person you are interested with in or you are interested with someone else or someone is, is interested in you, I feel some of you are going to relocate for the sake of love. And for some of you, you're going to meet your lover when you relocate, okay? And it could also be that someone coming on a business trip or traveling towards where you are um, is going to come into your life and they are bringing you sincere love um, some of you may face a bit of challenge you know because this is the chariot okay however this person coming in for you is true and honest and they are going to express their love to you in the most affectionate pos way as possible okay and so be be mindful of this person because this person is also um pos it's possible that they are your soulmate okay and here we've got the Queen of Cups. So in, in week two, those of you who have not met anyone yet, I feel that, yes, you will be um, enjoying um, yourselves, okay? However, whoever comes in for you in the second week, I feel like you will be um, having lots of fun. And once, for those of you who, who meet someone in the first week as well, you know, in the middle of the month, it's going to be blissful, peaceful, and amazing for you that is how i'm seeing it virgo i don't think there is anything here to be really really worried about to be concerned about as a single person and for some of you you just want to continue to be single you are not going to be bothered whether you are single or in a relationship but i feel like some of you will just focus on your you know um doing what is best for yourself emotionally and of course towards the end of the month we've got the king of pentacles here I feel that towards the end of the month, Virgo, you are going to start feeling more confident in yourself. 
and you are going to make better decisions okay so if even you are feeling um all emotional uh from the beginning of the month towards the end of the month i feel like you'll be feeling very very confident making the right decisions um for your love life and those of you who are in uh who, who have established a relationship for yourself during the month i feel this is when you start to you know feel like yeah i can let loose and and just be myself and if you meet someone for those of you who meet someone that in the um last week or towards the end of the month of uh may i feel like you know this person is in for you for the long haul okay because the bottom of the deck here is also the sun and the sun is also connected to your soul so this is also someone who possibly may have children with you okay or you may want to have children with or at least you may be thinking about it they make you feel young even okay and um virgo i hope this has been insightful for you i will leave the reading here i'll see you next month or you will see me next month